Okay, so we are back with Nurse Jen, and we are about to remove the fecal sample out of the centrifuge. It's been spinning for five minutes at 1200 revolutions per minute, and then sitting for 10. So now we have a nice little sample slide, as you can see, that came off of the top of the test tube. And now what we do is just simply examine and make sure that we don't have anything nasty in the poo. So this is kind of the cool part of the job now, right? Because the stinkiness is gone. I don't smell anything. No. I felt like earlier I needed to go way back and use the zoom feature of the camera. Yes. That was a little rough. Whoever put that hood in, that it must be a thoughtful boss. Yes. So, this is where you could say thoughtful boss indeed. Uh, yes, very thoughtful. <laughs> you know, because you're on tape, they, they could hear this later. You know, somebody might actually hear something, so. Indeed. Anyway, so, and then what you're able to, this looks like a really, really sophisticated camera. It's really not a camera, I guess it's more a microscope, but you, yes, know, you know what I mean. It's so, looking like Mr. Gabe has got possible coccidia. Uh oh. I'm going to have one of the other nurses double check me just to make sure because a lot of things can look like it and it not really be. Yeah, and you know, speaking of that, because I'm going to come over here and show this chart because. And can you move your log just and let me sure. just to show because see that's all of the stuff that you look for right yes and any of those things can be in there and you have to be able to identify you know so like you what said toxidia are. show me toxidia coccidia coccidia oh coccidia I'm coccidia. sorry yes um the guy on the camera doesn't know much does he? is this it no no that's toxic care I believe that is it. Okay. These are the technical terms for it. Yeah, okay. So that, but that's what we would want to, well, we don't want to see it. We don't if we want do see to, it, then, but, but we can treat it. Yes. Pre pretty easily treated, right? It is pretty easily treated. But you can see, look at all the different things that can be, and that's just what we know about. It's worth noting that we don't know much yes. in real terms. As much as we know and as smart as we are, we're still so much more to learn. So then once you see what you think you see, then you really isolate in on it, right? To yes, really and his stool was very soft and somewhat mushy. Yeah, I noticed that. Which is probably one of the reasons why I'm also leaning towards that he might possibly have coccidia, because that is one of the symptoms okay. that you can see with it. Right. Yeah, the cool thing is the veterinarians are the ones that have, you know, the most knowledge, but you guys all know an awful lot about this stuff, too. It's obvious listening to you. Yes. That you have a pretty good idea what's going on, and that's why we call you nurses and not techs. I always feel like techs is really not the right word, because you guys know a lot about science. Indeed. Well, you got to know, because you got to also follow up with the other techs, and we all help each other out. Sure. All right. Yeah. It so you're pretty confident. That's what you see. I am. And let me confident. let me see if I if the camera will look in there. I think I did that before, and I was actually able. So zoom in on what you're okay. seeing, let and then let yeah, it. let's see if we can just show the viewing audience what it is that you're seeing through those lenses. Every time I look in there, my eyes, I have the worst time with that thing. <laughs> it tends to make you a little dizzy, definitely. Okay. You know, somebody told me that's like $5,000 worth of microscope. I'll believe and it. That's some pretty sophisticated stuff. And it, do I remember somebody said before it's like 50,000 zoom? Yes. Is that right? 50 or 60,000? Yes, because you got to be able to look at, uh, see through other stuff as um, not only stool samples, but, you know, your analysis and everything else. So. Right. Okay. So I put it right in front of the middle of the microscope. That's as clear as I could probably try to get it. Yeah. I don't know what they, what we did earlier. 
but as you can see, viewing audience, it's not working very good. I'm going to peek in there. Oh, yeah. Sure enough. See, I can't believe we can't show that. But it's just not working. What did we do before? I have no idea. Well, whatever we did, viewing audience, it's not working. But this is definitely something that she'll have checked by somebody else just to confirm. We always like to double check. And then we will um, advise the uh, client and treat appropriately, right? Do you, and do you know how we treat this? Typically what? Um, Coccidia is typically a 10-day treatment okay. um, of Albon. And then we recheck the stool sample. And as long as things are negative, we might continue the treatment just to be on the safe side. But other than that, it's usually uh, Albon is our treatment of choice. Okay. Cool beans. Well, once again, thank you, Miss Jen. Thank you. Have a lovely day.